first line. We've got a note right at the end that says low one on the A string. So I'm going to play from the first, from the beginning of the first line. <laughs> That's a B flat. And for that note, you're going to have to move from your normal one position right back to almost three, almost like you're falling off the back of the finger hold there. So if, you're, if I'm going to play for you, could you copy me afterwards? I'm going to play a B, I'm going to play this, and then I'd like you to play it after me. So, so put one finger on the A string, one finger on the A string, and then play with me. Here we go. Two, three, go. B. flat there and we play that for three beats and then we'll carry on so now I'm going to play you the first two lines and then we'll play it together so watch me play it first and then we'll play it together so this is the beginning <laughs> And to be honest, I'm not really sure what it means, but I think the notes should be detached, but not really accented. So they're not really aggressive, <laughs> nothing like that, but just more <laughs> where you're giving them this sort of a little kind of a detached shape, but, um, but it's not too aggressive. So we're going to play from bar 17 now, bar 17 to the fourth line down. I count you in. One, two, three, go. Great, so that's really easy. So let's play the whole of that section. So this is from the beginning up to the letter B, okay? And I'll count you in. Here we go, we've got it already now. I won't play too fast, so we'll try to keep up. All right, here we go from the beginning. One, two, three, go. Can you see that? Where it says underneath the notes, it's got these two lines, one that goes bigger and one that gets smaller. I might have to go around for you. Um, 
We call those hairpins because they look a bit like hairpins. Um, but actually what it means is the first bar you get louder and the next bar you get softer. So it sounds like this. So it goes E, E, E flat, D. So that's not too difficult, is it? Shall we try that? So we're going to start with our fourth finger on the D string. This is from letter B. So it goes four, four, uh, <coughs> four, 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 two, 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 four, 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 two. Okay, let's try that from letter B, fourth finger on the D string. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Starts the same. Here we go. Let us see. One, fourth finger on D. One, two, three, go. <laughs> So let's play from bar 33 one more time. 33 with a little scale. One, two, three, go. <laughs> straight back to the beginning, no, no waiting around. So we're going to pretend we've done that now because we've done quite a lot of work on that. So we're going to look at the last little two, the last two lines of the whole piece before we try playing the whole thing through with the backing track. Um, the last two lines are very similar to what? Yes, that's right. They're very similar to the very beginning. Um, there's a few little extra bits at the end are repeated but otherwise it's just like the beginning so let's play the last two lines together from bar 37 count you in one two three four <laughs> One, two, three, go. <laughs> 